G'day, this is Lee with another screen recording on how to create a screen recording. This will be a fast flyby overview of the whole concept and my colleagues are creating more detailed steps on, uh, more, more detailed screen recordings on each of these steps. I've created a website uh, or a page in the service called wikieducator.org slash creating a screen recording and in it you'll see these steps. There are about 13 steps in total to create the be-all and end-all of a good screen recording including a printout version and the audio transcribed to text and uh, things like that and the video available is um, on the service of YouTube or some other, other sites like that. So the first step is to download Cam Studio. So if we click that link it'll take you to this website camstudio.org in which you can download this free and open source for Windows uh, application for, that I'm using right now for screen recording. The second step is to download Screen Hunter Free. Now it's freeware, so it's um, you know, it still has commercial intentions and everything like that. But at the moment, it's free software, and Screen Hunter is a very quick way for grabbing stills out of the video. You can set it to uh, grab a still from the active window, being the video, by clicking a key, and it will just automatically save a picture to your desktop in a series, 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03. So it's a great way of quickly getting still images out of your finished video. Uh, and we use those still images for the print version. The third step is to download Videora iPod Converter. And my colleagues over there have just downloaded, attempted downloading Videora iPod Converter. And I can see that things have changed there. It's a typical freeware trick, you know. Uh, they're starting to get a bit commercial with it and um, wanting to charge for the uh, download. There is still a free version with limited functionality. Uh, we use this video or iPod converter to take the original video that I'm creating here with this video. It will convert it, it will compress it into a, what's called an MP4 at 320 pixels, which is the settings good to play on an iPod, but it's not. It doesn't only play an iPod. It's quite good for videos and, uh, for showing videos on the internet and things like that. There's another one that you could search for called Super C, and it it uh, it pretty much um, converts any video to any other type of video, um, including compression and all that sort of stuff. Probably a superior um, application, but it, you need to be fairly advanced with knowing what you're doing with video and stuff. So three three types of software you need to download: Cam Studio, free and open source screen recorder, Screen Hunter, a freeware screen grabber, and Video or iPod Converter, another freeware. Uh, video conversion tool or Super C. Step four is to search for Cam Studio on YouTube and find and watch a demo using Cam Studio. So if you go to YouTube and scroll to the top, there is a search bar and you put in Cam Studio. Searching there and it comes up with well, the way I look at it, the first one is a screen recording on using Canvas Studio to screen record video tutorials. It is six minutes long and it has four and a half stars. Uh, doesn't tell me how many people have voted for that, but that's a pretty good indication that this one's going to be pretty good. And others in there, there's a Cam Studio. Well, there's a lot of Cam Studio tutorials in there. So if that one didn't do it for you, the next one probably will, or the next one. You might even find one in your own language. Who knows? Okay, the after you've watched that Cam Studio demo, you need to watch a Screen Hunter demo. Now, I happen to know that I searched for Screen Hunter on YouTube and there wasn't a screen recording for Screen Hunter, but I do know that there is a printout version of using Screen Hunter at the Screencasting blog. So you go to Screencasting blog, um, I'll just do that now, and at the top of that blog is a search bar. You put in Screen Hunter and it will come up with this result, Screen Hunter, a free, easy, fast way to make pictures of your screen. Okay, then obviously we need to do a search for Videora on YouTube. So if we go to YouTube, Videora, my batteries are getting low, it's just told me, so boy, oh boy, we're going to be a bit tight for this one. And that's searching for Videora now. And the first one is not a screen recording, but the second one appears to be a screen recording. Yes, it is, and it's by me, turns out. Okay. So, I'm probably going to ditch Videora after their little snide dog thing about making $26 out of their free software that I used to use, so um, maybe start using Super C a lot more. Okay, your step seven is to create a screen recording using Cam Studio. So remember, you've watched the demo on YouTube, you've downloaded the software, now you're ready to go, give it a go. Second, eighth step is to create a series of still images from the video using Screen Hunter. Now, watch, what Cam Studio does is when you finish the recording, it will automatically open the original video. At that, that point, you go and open uh, Screen Hunter, 
and have the key ready, you press play on your Cam Studio video and every time there's a keyframe that you want to save, you just press that key and it will save an image to your desktop. Like I said, this is the flyby overview of the concepts and uh, people are creating detailed um, screen recordings on each of these steps. Okay, you need to create an account on YouTube, Blip TV and Google Video or a range of other preferred uh, video services. Uh, sorry, no, the next step is to compress the original video using Videora iPod Converter and you've watched the demo on Videora and now you're going to compress the video. Then you're going to create an account on YouTube, Blip or Google Video and others. And there's this great website called Hey Spread It and it will upload your video to all of these services in the one process. It's just three steps. Put your title, put your description, put your tags. Second step is to uh, point the service to the video on your computer, and the third step is upload, and uh, your video will then be a, uh, appear on all of those services at once, which is a really good way to reach a lot of people and back up, I guess, your video. If YouTube goes down, hell, well, I've got it on Blip TV. If Blip goes down, well, hell, I've got it on Google Video. So, uh, which by nowadays is YouTube and Google are pretty much the same thing, but anyway. Upload the still images to Wiki Educator. So with uh, Screen Hunter, you've created the series of still images, then you're going to upload them to Wiki Educator or to your preferred image service like Flickr. And uh, the idea being though that the images need to display on Wiki Educator because we're going to use a Wiki Educator page to transcribe the audio, which is the final step. We're going to transcribe all the spoken word into text so that the printout version uh, is, is, is as accurate as we can have it. Obviously that's going to take a lot of work which is why we put it on a wiki because we've got others there to help us do that. Alright, that's everything to do with uh, the overview of creating the be-all and end-all screen recording in my opinion. <laughs>